So here we want to provide a life cycle for the zombie ant phenomenon. This is a beautiful drawing by Joao Araujo, who is one of the PhD students in the lab. And Joao is interested in the taxonomy of these fungi, so he'll be the one who's describing the new species. Joao is a Brazilian and has worked in this throughout the Amazon and also the Atlantic rainforest. So let's start with the ant on the underside of the leaf. It's got this large fungus growing out of the back of the head. At this stage the ant is dead and this part of the fungus that Joao is drawing is called the ascoma and each night that shoots out spores which land on the forest floor. These are really special devices which are designed to capture ants. As soon as they hit the ground they grow into these little stalks top of which has a little tiny sticky spore. And as the ants come out of the nest foraging for food, they walk through minefields of these spores and they attach to the cuticle or the skin of the ant and the ants really can't get them off. We're going to see now the back part of the ant, the gaster it's called, where all the hairs are. And here the spore attaches and over a course of about 12 hours it grows through the skin. It uses a whole range of enzymes to get inside the body and then it multiplies inside and then after about a week the ant comes back out and now it's controlled by the fungus it climbs up and it goes to a very special location to the underside of a leaf and again a fungus grows out of the back of the head just like in the movie from the BBC you saw and this part of it involves the ant biting into the leaf because the ant is going to be killed and the fungus needs to keep it in the precise location really a complex manipulation the poor ant